Astronomers discovered a blob of gas that is hotter than the sun, spinning around the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy and shooting powerful gamma-ray radiation at Earth every 76 minutes. This blob of gas is orbiting the black hole, Sagittarius A star, at about 30% of the speed of light, which is about 90,000 kilometers per second. That is about 300 times faster than the Earth's orbital speed around the sun, or about 5,000 times faster than the fastest fighter jet. The blob completes a full loop around the Sagittarius A star in just 70 minutes, and it lasts for only one orbit before being torn apart by the black hole's gravity. In this video, we will explore what this blob is, how it was detected, where it came from, and what it means for our knowledge and curiosity about the black hole and our galaxy. So, stay tuned and get ready to learn more about this strange and amazing blob of gas. The first thing we need to know is how astronomers detected this blob of gas in the first place. The blob is emitting high-energy gamma-ray radiation, which is a type of electromagnetic radiation that has the shortest wavelength and the highest energy. Gamma rays are very hard to detect because they are absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere and most materials. That's why astronomers use special telescopes in space, such as the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, to observe them. The Fermi Telescope has been scanning the sky for gamma ray sources since 2008, such as pulsars, supernovae, and black holes. One of the targets of the Fermi Telescope is the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, which is called Sagittarius A star. This black hole is about 4 million times more massive than the Sun, and it is located about 26,700 light years away from Earth. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year, which is about 9.5 trillion kilometers. So, the black hole is very far away and very massive, but also very quiet. Unlike some other supermassive black holes that are very active and bright, Sagittarius A star is surrounded by very little matter and is feeding very slowly. It is like a sleeping giant that occasionally wakes up and shows some signs of activity. One of these signs of activity was detected by the Fermi telescope when it observed a regular pulse of gamma ray radiation coming from near Sagittarius A star every 76 minutes. This was a very surprising and intriguing discovery because the black hole itself cannot emit radiation since nothing can escape from its event horizon, which is the point of no return for anything that falls into it. So, the gamma rays must be coming from something else in the vicinity of the black hole, something that is orbiting around it and interacting with it. But what could it be? To answer this question, astronomers used data from the Fermi telescope and other telescopes that also observed Sagittarius A star in different wavelengths of light, such as X-rays, infrared, and radio. By combining and analyzing these data, they came up with a possible explanation for the origin and nature of the gamma ray source. They concluded that the source is a blob of gas that is orbiting the black hole at a very high speed and a very close distance. The blob is about the size of Jupiter, and it is very hot, with a temperature of about 10 million degrees Celsius, which is almost as hot as the core of the sun. It is made of mostly hydrogen and helium, with some traces of other elements, such as iron and silicon. But how did this blob form, and how does it emit gamma rays? Well, the answer lies in the interaction between the material in the black hole's accretion disk and the magnetic field surrounding the black hole. The accretion disk is a ring of gas and dust that spirals around the black hole, and the magnetic field is a force that can affect the movement and behavior of charged particles, such as electrons and protons. It acts as a barrier that prevents the black hole from devouring as much material as it otherwise would, and it causes the gas and dust to clump up in certain areas around the black hole. Sometimes, the magnetic field lines can break, allowing the black hole to feed on one of these clumps of gas and releasing energy into the surrounding material, forming a hot bubble of plasma. This is what the blob of gas is, a hot bubble of plasma that is orbiting the black hole at about 30% of the speed of light. And as we mentioned, the blob completes a full loop around the black hole in just 70 minutes, 
and it lasts for only one orbit before being torn apart by the black hole's gravity. As the blob orbits the black hole, it emits radiation in different wavelengths, depending on its temperature and the strength of the magnetic field. Initially, the blob emits mostly X-rays, which are also detected by other telescopes, such as the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Then, as the blob cools down, it emits lower energy radiation, such as infrared and radio, which are also detected by other telescopes, such as the Atacama Large Millimeter, Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Event Horizon Telescope. However, the gamma rays are the most energetic and the most mysterious part of the blob's radiation. They are thought to be produced by a process called inverse Compton scattering, which is when low energy photons, such as radio or infrared, are boosted to high energy photons, such as gamma rays, by colliding with high energy electrons in the blob. The gamma rays are then beamed in a narrow cone along the direction of the blob's motion, and they reach Earth every 76 minutes when the blob is facing us. This discovery of the blob of gas orbiting the black hole at the center of the Milky Way is very rare and fascinating, and it has many implications and significance for our understanding of the black hole and our galaxy. First of all, it shows that the black hole is not as quiet and dormant as we thought, and that it can occasionally produce powerful and periodic flares of radiation that can be detected by different telescopes. This gives us a chance to study the black hole's environment and activity in more detail and in different wavelengths, and to test our theories and models of how black holes work and interact with their surroundings. Second, it reveals that the black hole has a complex and dynamic magnetic field that can affect the behavior and shape of the accretion disk and the blob of gas. This helps us to constrain the geometry and strength of the magnetic field and to understand how it influences the formation and evolution of the blob and the accretion disk. Third, it challenges our assumptions and expectations about the nature and origin of the gamma ray radiation from the black hole. It shows that the gamma rays are not coming from the accretion disk itself, but from a blob of gas that is orbiting the black hole at a very high speed and a very close distance. This suggests that there might be other phenomena or features that are hiding in the vicinity of the black hole, and that they might reveal more information about the physics and history of the black hole and the galaxy. However, this discovery also raises many questions and uncertainties that need further investigation and confirmation. For example, how common and frequent are these blobs of gas, and how do they vary in size, shape, temperature, and composition? How exactly do they form? and what triggers the magnetic field to break and release them? How do they emit radiation in different wavelengths? And what are the mechanisms and processes that produce the gamma rays? How do they affect the accretion disk and the black hole? And how do they respond to the black hole's gravity and rotation? I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about this topic and other topics related to astronomy, astrophysics, and cosmology, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.